Lately, there's been a ton of rumors going around about how Kelly Clarkson really lost all that weight so fast. We know she decided to make a huge change in her nutrition and health. But was Ozempic also a part of that? In this video, we will go over the real truth about Kelly Clarkson losing weight, and we will spill the beans on the real facts on how she lost all this weight so fast. Kelly Clarkson has openly addressed the speculation surrounding her recent weight loss, firmly attributing her transformation to diet and exercise as advised by her doctor, rather than the use of the weight loss drug Ozempic. So no, she did not use Ozempic to lose weight, but how she did lose weight will actually blow your mind by how easy it actually was by just changing a few habits around. In a cover story interview for People magazine, Clarkson shared that she had been listening to her doctor's advice for a couple of years, focusing on a high protein based diet and staying more active, especially after moving to New York City. She acknowledged the difficulty of maintaining a strict diet, but mentioned that she allows herself to splurge a little while being really good about her diet and exercise regimen 90% of the time. This is where the rumors and speculations came from by her fans and onlookers thinking she was using Ozempic for weight loss, particularly after she showcased a significantly slimmer figure. It makes sense that most people who are uninformed about diet and exercise would think that she must have had something else, like a weight loss drug, to be able to eat what she wants and not do any crazy intense exercising. What most people don't understand is that having a quality high protein diet without processed foods can make a huge difference. Her approach to weight loss has been mainly holistic, focusing on both a well-rounded diet and increased physical activity. She credits her weight loss to adhering to a high protein diet, engaging in more physical activities with her children like walking around the city, and incorporating wellness practices like cold plunges and infrared saunas. Clarkson emphasizes the importance of a balanced diet while allowing for occasional indulgences, highlighting her preference for high-quality meat as part of her protein intake. Additionally, Clarkson has shared that part of her motivation for adjusting her lifestyle came from a pre-diabetic diagnosis, which spurred her to make health-conscious decisions. By listening closely to her doctor's advice, Clarkson has managed to improve her health significantly, underlining the role of professional medical guidance in her journey. Kelly began focusing more intently on her health and weight loss around 2018, when she revealed a significant change in her diet after reading The Plant Paradox. This book influenced her to adopt a diet aimed at addressing an autoimmune disease and a thyroid issue she was diagnosed with. At that time, she noted a dramatic weight loss of 37 pounds without traditional exercise, attributing the success to dietary changes and a focus on eating organic, non-GMO foods. Crazy to think this all started because of bad nutrition in the first place, but at least she had a good doctor and was able to turn things around in a natural way without the use of any weight loss drugs, which could also lead to other complications. Ozempic was originally approved for the treatment of type 2 diabetes, which has been widely discussed in the media and among the public for its weight loss effects. This has led to its off-label use by some looking to lose weight. The rapid adoption of Ozempic by some in Hollywood and its frequent discussion in the context of celebrity weight loss have possibly contributed to such rumors. It's important for individuals taking Ozempic to be under the care of a healthcare provider who can monitor for these side effects and adjust treatment as necessary. The decision to use Ozempic, especially for off-label purposes like weight loss in non-diabetic individuals, should be made after a thorough discussion of the potential benefits and risks. Ozempic works by mimicking the action of an incretin hormone, which helps lower blood sugar levels and can lead to weight loss. Despite its benefits, like any medication, Ozempic can have short-term and long-term side effects. Some short-term side effects are gastrointestinal issues, appetite changes, hypoglycemia, and injection site reactions. And the long-term side effects are pancreatitis, thyroid cancer, kidney problems, and diabetic retinopathy complications. Her openness about the methods she used aims to clarify her approach and dispel the rumors about her reliance on medication for weight loss. She now wants people to know about her guidance in The Plant Paradox by Dr. Stephen R. Gundry, which led to significant improvements in her health. This book promotes a diet that eliminates lectins, believed by some to contribute to inflammation and various health issues. Most people probably hear about this diet and think, I have to eat only plants, but actually this diet is more about eliminating certain plants and is actually more about a well-rounded high-protein diet that mainly includes lean healthy meats. 
The plant paradox diet focuses on the idea that certain foods we consider healthy might actually be harmful due to lectins, a type of protein found in many plants. Lectins are thought to cause inflammation and other health issues because they can bind to cells in the body, leading to negative health effects. The diet suggests that by eliminating or reducing lectin-rich foods from our diet, we can improve our health by reducing inflammation and other related health concerns. Foods that are high in lectins include certain vegetables, especially nightshades like tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. Also legumes, including beans, lentils, peanuts, and peas. And grains, particularly those containing gluten, but also others like corn and quinoa. And last is dairy products, especially those from cows that are not A2 milk. I know this must be a hard change for most people who don't have health issues like Kelly has, which made her really realize the importance of this diet and that she had to change her bad eating habits. And of course, the perk that came along with it was extreme weight loss. But let's get into the foods that you can eat on this diet. Lots of leafy greens and certain non-nightshade vegetables, A2 milk and certain cheeses, pasture-raised meats and wild-caught seafood, certain nuts and seeds like macadamia nuts, walnuts, pistachios, pecans, and hazelnuts, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds, and low-lectin fruits like berries and avocados. Clarkson's weight loss and health improvement were a direct result of her seeking solutions for her autoimmune and thyroid issues, rather than pursuing weight loss through traditional means or for aesthetic reasons. This highlights an approach to weight management and overall health that prioritizes internal health and well-being over external appearance, an angle that is not always the focus in public discussions about celebrity weight loss. Her journey underscores the importance of considering health holistically, looking at how diet and lifestyle can impact conditions beyond weight alone, and suggests a shift towards understanding and treating underlying health issues rather than focusing solely on weight loss as a goal. This aspect of Clarkson's health journey reflects a broader conversation about the role of nutrition in managing health conditions and the potential for significant health benefits through informed dietary changes. Kelly Clarkson has been linked to rumors about endorsing health gummies, specifically in the context of weight loss. In October, following the spread of these rumors, it was clarified that Kelly Clarkson is not promoting any specific weight loss program or products, including health gummies. A fake ad had been distributed making it look like Clarkson was endorsing a company's weight loss gummies, which she was not. So what we have learned here is that everyone should do their research before believing anything they hear. Also, I think it's very eye-opening that someone like her can lose so much weight by just eliminating the things that are bad for you and engaging in a well-rounded high-protein diet with light, consistent exercise. This should be the staple for everyone since we are now very aware of the problems of obesity and the long-term effects it can have on your body like diabetes and autoimmune diseases. This shows that you shouldn't wait for something negative to happen, but go and take action right away. I know certain diets aren't one-size-fits-all, but by doing a little research or buying a book like The Plant Paradox Diet, you can be well on your way to tailoring a nutrition and health plan that can work for you. You will thank yourself in the long run. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something of importance that can help guide you on the path to becoming a better you. I decided to take this journey a few years ago, and I can say I will never look back and can't even imagine anymore how I used to indulge in the unhealthy foods I did years ago. Thank you again for joining me, and if you enjoyed your time here, don't forget to like and subscribe for more health and fitness content. I only aim to give you guys the best and most up-to-date information. So go out there and flex all your new knowledge and start glowing with the results. Catch you later.